One of the most mind-blowing things I've seen this year continues to be that Unreal Engine 5 Matrix Awakens demo that showed us this incredibly photorealistic city running on PlayStation 5, which is a $500 device. And beyond that, you are able to kind of fly through the city and the engine barely breaks a sweat. Let me show you just a little bit right here. Just to give you an idea for what I'm talking about, for those who haven't seen my video on that, you can literally fly through the city and you can speed up as much as you want and you can fly at incredible speeds. And this got me thinking, what about a Superman game? Unreal Engine 5, I think, might finally allow for such a game to be possible on a scale and on a fidelity that warrants in this kind of game. It's just like you can just really kind of fly through here and I mean, it's just really, really freaking cool. Now, it would seem as though I was not the only one who had such thought processes as a number of people who have gotten their hands on the latest Unreal Engine 5 build have been experimenting with such a possibility and already we're seeing kind of very basic demos that highlight this possibility. I mean, I, I'm going, I think, pretty fast given the scale of this city, but some people managed to get a character model kind of doing Superman-like action and flying at even greater speeds. So let me show you what that looks like. There are two demos that I want to show you. One might potentially turn into a project of its own. The other was kind of very quickly put together, but with kind of a Superman-like model, and it was just cool to see. Uh, the possibility of that. First, we got Volod here, who used a very basic Unreal Engine model. You can see a sample clip right here already. This looks freaking crazy. The UE5 city sample told me that it wants to turn into a Superman game when it grows up. Yeah, so this is something you can download the city sample. It's an asset package you can play around with on Unreal Engine 5, and people have already been coming up with these kinds of demos. Here is one of them, and let's see if there's audio on this. There's no audio, but... I mean, this clip alone already kind of gets the mind racing about possibilities. Scrolling further down, you'll find a clip just showing a little a little glitch of Unreal Engine 5's physics. But prior to that, earlier in the clip, you can see a kind of Superman-esque move, a landing that uh, crushes the car. Beyond that, you've got update. We'll be attempting to turn this tech demo into an actual game, no association with a Superman IP. It's gonna be a Superman-like game, but it's gonna be a different character. If you're an experienced concept artist, musician, 3D character, or UE4 environment artist, and would like to join along for the ride in your spare time, message me. And you can see right here this clip of a Superman-like entity. This guy with psychic powers able to, I mean, first of all, the maneuvers you can do mid-air and uh, the sense of speed and the kind of the air streak left behind is really cool. But then you've got these telekinetic powers where this guy's just like grabbing cars, throwing them around, really turning the city into a playground. Just this demo alone looks incredibly fun as sort of like a very prototypical vertical slice. So yeah, that's a Volod's experiment that may potentially turn into a full-fledged, I guess, indie title. And Kotaku, in their report of this, highlights how the city sample is a free downloadable asset pack released to help developers understand how Epic Games built the Matrix Awakens tech demo showcased at the Game Awards last year, which, again, is just utterly mind-blowing. Below that, you've got a quote from Vola. Kotaku actually spoke to this developer. Uh, he has a background in designing visual effects for film, and that Epic's special developer's license allowed him to experiment with the engine for a year before its public release. And here's a quote that they got from him. If I can find an interesting gameplay loop that ties into the flight mechanic, I consider putting together a minimum viable product or demo and releasing it to the public, but obviously without the association to the Superman IP, as that would only invite potential lawsuits. So that's just one sample demo. Here we have another one from a YouTube user going by the name TJ Atomica, and you've got two clips that he uploaded to the channel. One of them is pretty short, but it does show the character model with the Superman kind of outfit or Superman-like outfit. And that already gives you an even clearer picture of what this potentially could look like. But then you've got this minute and a half clip with sound and everything. And it's just kind of surreal because I feel like so many people have been dreaming of a game like this. We haven't really gotten a proper Superman game, a AAA Superman game. Superman 64 obviously doesn't count. That's one of the worst games ever made. 
We just haven't seen Superman represented in an open world environment. And while there's a lot to figure out in terms of how do we weaken Superman so that he's not just a god who can't be defeated by anyone, that's the challenge with a Superman game. He's so powerful that you have to find a way to kind of nerf him that makes sense and then build up his power over the course of the game. But it's a comic book story. There are plenty of avenues for that. There are plenty of plot devices that could be used for that. I don't mind weakening Superman and then strengthening him back up throughout the course of the game. But I mean, this is so freaking cool. And the, just the, the, I love the air streaks and airwaves that are produced as he flies around. Kind of like what uh, Zack Snyder's Man of Steel did. And the, I love the audio as well. Feels like there's wind rushing through your ears. And look, again, this is all very prototype stages. Oh, the little traffic noises. And just that, that stopping animation as well. And these are all, I believe, uh, pre-made assets that he kind of put together. But when the possibility of a Superman game can look this good on Unreal Engine 5 from some guy who just kind of put this together for fun, imagine what a AAA studio could do with Unreal Engine 5 going all in on a Superman game using this engine. Or hell, using some kind of proprietary engine that can do what Unreal Engine 5 does. You know, maybe that's another avenue, but Unreal Engine 5 is really kind of uh, knocking it out of the park, and it, it so far feels like it's ahead of the curve. The likes to dislikes ratio speaks for itself. 3.2 thousand likes versus a mere 39 dislikes, basically a 99% upvote ratio, which tends to suggest overwhelmingly positive feedback. And you've got people saying stuff like, I feel like this is what was missing in the Matrix Awakens tech demo. Instead of walking around as an avatar at the end, we should have been flying around as Neo indeed, who is the one, and at the end of Matrix 1, earns the ability to fly around, and that would have been freaking mind-blowing if I could do that. But honestly, just being able to pan the camera around through this photorealistic-looking city on PlayStation 5 at such fidelity and at such speeds with everything kind of, with very little in the way of pop-in, still mind-blowing. Been waiting for an update on this. Looks amazing, and I really hope Warner Brothers Montreal or Rocksteady preferably get to make a Superman game someday. One more for good measure. Scrolling further down, I have wanted to play a good Superman game for 30-plus years. Looks like you pretty much nailed the flying. Just need to add the super strength ability to destroy the entire environment and eye lasers. Come on, Warner Brothers, make this happen. Looks awesome. I don't know if the ability to just destroy a city is emblematic of what Superman represents. Again, that's the challenge. He's so powerful, you gotta find a way to nerf him and uh, find a way to design the game so that you're not just some god who can wreck the city and wreak havoc because that's not what Superman is. So there are design challenges for sure uh, to make sense and to go in line with uh, Superman lore and his uh, mythos, if you will. But I, I mean, this this is a great jump off point. Again, this one demo was just made by a dude who decided to have some fun with the engine. This is the website where you can actually download the demo, tjatomica.itch.io slash superman dash ue5. This project was built simply as a test for what a super, or what a future superhero game like Superman might be like in a large scale modern city running on Unreal Engine 5. This game uses Epic's The Matrix Awakens Project City and replaces the character with a flying superhero variant of my own design using other marketplace assets. This was a quick thrown together test. There could be any number of issues and problems, but I'm putting it out there for anyone who is keen to give it a go. So if you're curious about this and have a powerful enough PC because this has not been optimized and, you know, it's just kind of, again, thrown together. You can kind of experience a little bit of the possibilities that lie ahead, at least as far as the flying mechanics go. This pose continues for legal reasons. This character is in Superman and I've made sure this is totally free. Please note this is an incredibly heavy game and lower end PCs will struggle potentially. Even on a 3090, I have run into streaming problems. Again, this is based on Epic's Matrix demo just for fun and I haven't done any kind of optimization myself. It's just plug and play. I'm currently not working on this in any major capacity further, unlike this other project that's not going to be a Superman IP that uh, they showed off via a sort of prototypical footage. This is just for fun, and I have other commitments, but may consider revisiting it in the future. So, hey, the door is open. I really do think you need a full-fledged AAA team to bring a game like this to life in 
a full-fledged form with all kinds of missions, with an open-world design that makes sense, with powers and progression that makes sense and that feels fun, a gameplay loop that feels well thought out. You also need a good story behind all of this and some great cutscenes to go along with that and, you know, a lot of cinematic fidelity as well. There's just a lot involved, I think, in making a game like this full-scale, full-fledged. There's also the matter of licensing to consider. Only a AAA studio can acquire the rights to Superman and actually make a game out of it on an official capacity. Licensing Superman, no doubt, is quite expensive. At the same time, who knows, maybe an indie developer who is not using the Superman IP can really be freed up and making a game that they want to make without being tied to the Superman mythos of having to be, you know, this beacon of hope and not being able to destroy the city and use it as a playground. Maybe there is a version of this kind of superhero game where, you know, you can play, you can be good or evil, you can smash stuff around, you can uh, just kind of unleash all your powers without minding civilians if you so desire. And and really turn this into a super-powered uh, open-world playground. I mean, the flying mechanic alone obviously isn't what makes a Superman game, but it's going to be a big part of it. And the fact that Unreal Engine 5 enables that so easily that anyone can kind of make a demo like this goes to show that when you put this in the hands of a AAA development studio, they'll probably be able to do some really, really cool stuff. Now understand, there is no official Superman game confirmed yet, but I feel like it's a matter of when, not if, especially at this stage in the technological development of video games and game engines, it's more possible than ever to make a Superman game. It's starting to feel like the time is right, and hopefully in the not-so-distant future, We'll see a game of this uh, style or hell, just a Superman game period announced. But I guess only time will tell. Until then, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on the kind of put together Superman demos that are out there right now and whether you are excited for the prospect of a Superman game based on what you've seen in these Unreal Engine 5 really basic showcases. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.